This video is going to be answering a question from a viewer of mine, MysticAM86, and he was commenting on my previous tutorial, which is columns, uh, putting data into columns in Bash, uh, and he was wondering if it's possible to use the column command, output a file into columns, and then save it back to the same file. Uh, yes, you can do that, uh, but not using the greater than symbol like uh, he's showing in the comments like that. We're going to have to use the sponge command, and I'll give you an example of how this works. Let me go into a uh, CSV file I've created, data.csv. I've got three columns and three rows. So let's cat that file out, and you can see how it displays. Now I can use the column command, like so, with the dash T, and it's in this case, dividing columns up based on uh, spaces in the lines. Um, and you can see how it outputs, but that doesn't change the file. If we cat the file out a second time, you can see it's not in columns when we cat it out. Now, we can do this and go greater than, and we can go into a new CSV file. And then if we cat that out, you'll see that we have the file saved in columns. But if you want to put data back into the original file with any command, not just the column command, whether you're grepping something out and you want to replace the original file. You can't do that because it will tell you an error that the input or the output file can't be the same as the input file. Well, it didn't give me the error there, but it should have. Well, it didn't give me the error, but it basically erased my original file. Um, so how can we do that? How can we grab the data, manipulate it, and put it back into the same file without having to create a temporary file and then write over the original file with the temporary file? Um, and that's easy. Let me recreate my CSV file here. We're going to use a command called the sponge command. Now the sponge command, if you do an aptitude search, for sponge, you'll find that nothing comes up. So let's do a more in-depth search where we'll use the D switch like so, and we'll search through the details, and you'll see we'll find one called More Utilities, and it's additional Unix utilities. And then you can install that with uh, sudo aptitude install more utilities. I ever got that installed, so I'm not going to install it a second time. And the way this works is you just pipe the output from from a file uh, or from a command, and then you use the sponge command and then the name of the file you want to sponge into. So if we go back up to our command here, which we're using column with a dash T to columnize that data file based on spaces, instead of using the greater than symbol, we'll use a pipe to pipe it into sponge and then we'll say data.csv now if we cat out, cat out the data.csv file you'll see that it has now been changed to have the uh, columns in it so sponge is how you grab data from a file after manipulating it and put it back into the original file without getting an error or wiping out the original file which could be bad um, so there it is. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit filmsbychris.com or bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.